Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. I'm Emmanuel, I'm a Boeing 737 pilot and a member of PMDG's tech team. In today's video let's look at high energy approach prevention and what you can do to anticipate shortcuts. In our case we are arriving at Palma de Mallorca, runway 24 left with the Lunik 2 Papa arrival and the Cap de Pera transition. So we can see our routing is taking us from Lunik southbound to a deceleration point then to Cap de Pera VOR and back northbound. Now as we can imagine there is quite a way where we could save quite a bit of mileage over here if we go direct to Bavum at any point. So if we did not prepare for this then we would end up high on profile when air traffic control actually gives us the shortcut. So let's have a look at what you can do to anticipate it. We have a very nice waypoint over here, the uh, Delta 357 Tango point, which gives us a realistic way of um, how the approach might be shortened down like this. So what we can do now in the FMC to anticipate the shortcut is take the waypoint that's um, over here, Bavum, and put that right behind the Tango point. So now the FMC is calculating with this, but don't press execute yet. Now. Have a look at the predicted altitude that the FMC thinks you would have at the Tango point by the moment um, that you would start the turn towards Bavum. So, what we'll remember from here is flight level 110. Now press erase so that you have the original routing back in your flight plan. And now you can put 110 or below in as a restriction on the uh, Tango point over here. Execute this. And now the FMC is going to calculate a VNAV path that is going to get you down towards the tango point. And if air traffic control gives you the shortcut towards Bavum, then you are going to be covered and are going to be right on your descent profile. Now, of course, we have to take into account also the situation in which we would not get the shortcut. And then, of course, we're going to be a couple thousand feet low on our profile. Now. What can you do about that? Well, you simply have to accept that you will have to make a very shallow descent after the tango point then in order to still conduct your continuous descent approach. But that is very acceptable and experience is going to tell you which kind of direct you can expect. But if you see something like this on your arrival where you have definitely some extra track mileage for no apparent reason, like there is no mountain or anything over here that would make it necessary to fly this routing, then it's a very good idea always to anticipate the shortcut and do this kind of calculation like just inserting something in the FMC without executing, seeing what the FMC is going to predict, but be aware that you might have to delete some restrictions in here in order to actually see it. And when you know what the FMC is going to predict, then you can easily make the necessary changes by inserting relevant constraints in your LEX page. This is going to become even the more important when you get the 737-800s and 900s, since they're even harder to descend and to um, slow down than the shorter 600 and 700. So be aware, this is something you should be doing on pretty much all approaches. Most certainly we do it in real life. And regardless if you are flying online or offline, if you're offline, who well, knows? You might give yourself that kind of shortcut if you don't want to fly the full procedure. Because the truth is, we very, very rarely fly a full procedure in real life. Usually it's all shortcuts, all headings, because right after the safety, the next important point for air traffic control is efficiency. So, hope you liked this one. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you did like it, let me know what you think about it in the comments below. If you didn't like it, also let me know what you think in the comments below. Consider a subscription to the channel, and if you really want to support the channel, I would appreciate a small donation through the Buy Me A Coffee link that you can find in the video description below. Thank you very much for your attention, and I'm hoping to see you all again very soon.